Most humans think that Mother Nature will be always warm and hospitable to all life forms. Well, for the most part she is. But there are already five mass extinctions recorded in our history. On Earth, 99.9% .9 of all species eventually go extinct. Extinction is the norm and the laws of physics also doom the entire planet Earth because the Earth is in the middle of a shooting gallery of asteroids and comets and meteors. It's inevitable that we will be hit with a planet buster something like what hit the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. Let's review the five mass extinctions in our recorded history. The planet's first death knell sounded 444 million years ago, near the end of the Ordovician period. Simple forms of life, mainly bacteria and archaea, had already flourished for 3 billion years. Complex life, on the other hand, had only just started. The Ordovician is a very interesting time period because you have one of the largest and most rapid biodiversification events, and also one of the largest mass extinction events. At the time, most of Earth's land was merged together in the supercontinent of Gondwana. Then came their demise. It consisted of two distinct events separated by roughly a million years. First, glaciers engulf Gondwana and the planet cooled dramatically, chilling the tropics and mid-latitudes. Sea levels plummeted hundreds of feet. This destroyed vast stretches of the warm, shallow water ecosystem that sustained much marine life. Then, in the second wave, the glaciers melted, the planet warmed, and the ocean rose. The species that had just adapted to the cold struggled once again to evolve fast enough. About 370 million years ago, late Devonian extinction, the extinction began roughly 380 million years ago, midway through the segment of geologic time known as the Devonian period, or the Age of Fish. The Devonian extinction ravaged Earth, on and off for 25 million years, and although it ultimately killed three-quarters of all species, it also cleared the way for a new balance of animal life that endures to this day. At the top of the food chain, sat the placoderms, a species of armor-plated and sometimes massive fish. The most famous of these mean mugging beasts, Dunkleosteus, may have grown as long as 30 feet, probably winning it the distinction of largest animal until the dinosaurs. 252 million years ago, Permian Triassic Extinction the Permian-Triassic extinction killed off so much of life on Earth that it is also known as the Great Dye. Marine invertebrates were particularly hard hit by this extinction, especially trilobites, which were finally killed off entirely. But you don't get a nickname like the Great Dying for playing favorites. Almost no form of life was spared by this extinction which caused the disappearance of more than 95% of marine species and upward of 70% of land-dwelling vertebrates. So many species were wiped out by this mass extinction. It took more than 10 million years to recover from the huge blow to global biodiversity. This extinction is thought to be the result of a gradual change in climate, followed by a sudden catastrophe, causes including volcanic eruptions, Asteroid impacts and a sudden release of greenhouse gases from the seafloor have been proposed, but the mechanism behind the great dying remains a mystery. 201 million years ago, Triassic Jurassic extinction. This extinction occurred just a few millennia before the breakup of the supercontinent of Pangaea. While its causes are not definitively understood, researchers have suggested climate change an asteroid impact, or a spate of enormous volcanic eruptions as possible reasons. Its effects are unquestionable. More than a third of marine species vanished, as did most large amphibians of the time, as well as many species related to crocodiles and dinosaurs. 66 million years ago, Cretaceous Paleogene Extinction, also called KT Extinction, the most recent mass extinction event is also likely the best understood of the Big Five. 
a global extinction event responsible for eliminating approximately 80% of all species of animals. The Katy extinction was characterized by the elimination of many animals that were important elements of the Mesozoic era, including nearly all of the dinosaurs and many marine invertebrates. Many theory have been offered over the years to explain dinosaur extinction, but only a few have received serious consideration. Since the early 1980s, much attention has been focused on the so-called asteroid theory. This theory states that meteorite or comet impact may have triggered the extinction event by ejecting an immense amount of rock debris into the atmosphere, enshrouding Earth in darkness for several months or longer with no sunlight able to pierce this global dust cloud. Photosynthesis ceased, resulting in the death of green plants and the disruption of the food chain. There is much evidence in the rock record that supports this hypothesis. A huge crater 180 km in diameter dating to the end of the Cretaceous was discovered buried beneath sediments of the Yucatan Peninsula near Chicxulub, Mexico. The Holocene era is the name given to the last 11,000 years of the Earth's history, the time since the end of the last major ice age. Another name for the Holocene that is sometimes used is the Anthropogene, the age of man. Many of us doesn't even realize it. We are currently in the midst of Earth's sixth mass extinction event and it's accelerating. Known as the Holocene extinction, this event has been occurring for the last 10,000 years, beginning at the end of the last ice age. But an increasing human population and a warming planet have only made this mass extinction even more dire. Many of the past mass extinction events are mysterious in some ways because we really don't know exactly the reason. But we have a good idea of what is happening now. It's human activity. Humans have contributed to factors like climate change and the introduction of invasive species, which are leading to even more extinctions as animal habitats disappear or are disrupted by new species. Some biologists think that the current rate of species loss is probably a thousand times what the normal rate is. The shocking truth is Mother Nature and our laws of physics have a death warrant for humanity. 